Alright, so before the video starts, these don't apply to everyone, blah blah blah, disclaimer, you understand. And we're starting off with the beginner dev, which is a type of dev that we've all been at some point. This guy has absolutely no prior knowledge of game development, scripting, or anything of that sort. This is someone who attaches a drag detector to a part and thinks of that as a finished game. The beginner dev has no clue what he's doing, but still has fun. S tier. The tutorial hell dev is a beginner who keeps clinging on to watching YouTube Roblox tutorials in hopes that maybe someday he can get as good as the expert Roblox developers. Except that what this guy does not understand is that to get good at game development, you have to actually do game development. D tier. The casual dev understands just enough to make a game. This is the dev who truly treats Roblox development as just a simple hobby. He understands enough about stuff like scripts, properties, and remote events, but knows very little about things like module scripts, Roblox physics, and the various constraint instances. Not because he's stupid, but just because he doesn't want to. A tier. The hustle dev is one we're all familiar with. This is the dev who clogs up your homepage with those oversaturated games that have like 50 shop buttons. This guy recognizes that Roblox games can make him money, and ensures that you no single cent back. is left untaken. <laughs> this one's very neutral because on one hand, I respect the hustle, but on the other hand, their games are shit. B tier. The good shitpost dev is a dev that makes shitpost games that turn out to be good. A tier. The bad shitpost dev is one who makes shitpost games that turn out to be bad. D tier. The business dev is one who made it out of the Roblox streets. This guy, while not being too proficient in scripting, is very proficient in business and entrepreneurship. He's someone who has built up a good team, a good brand, and most importantly, a great game. S tier. The toolbox dev is fairly self-explanatory. This is the dev who keeps on using the toolbox and trying to pass it as his own game. This guy is similar to the beginner developer, except he has been doing it for years. C tier. The big shot dev is one that makes a great game and leaves forever. <clears throat> Deep Space Tycoon. <clears throat> this type of dev would be on S tier, but I'm putting them on A tier. Because of all the wasted potential, bro. Like, come on. A tier. The expert dev is one who seemingly knows every single feature and optimization strategy in Roblox Studio. In fact, it seems like he was there when it was created. Unsurprisingly, the ego on this guy is off the charts. This is someone who will literally shoot you in the head if you use wait for child too much because it's unoptimized bro. Very obnoxious. D tier. And yeah, if one of these resonates with you or you think I missed one, then leave a comment and let me know.